So thank you for looking in again on our continuing subject, Do You Really Know Who Jesus Is? Jesus wants us to know who he is. Do we want to know who Jesus is? In John chapter 4, it says, Then Jesus said to him, Unless you people see signs and wonders, you will by no means believe. Signs and wonders, what's that? Jesus went all about doing healing. It says, Jesus traveled throughout the region of Galilee, teaching in the synagogues and announcing the good news about the kingdom. And he healed every kind of disease and illness. News about him spread as far as Syria, and people soon began bringing to him all who were sick. And whatever their sickness or disease, or if they were demon-possessed, or an epileptic, or paralyzed, he healed them all. They were traveling, and as they went uh, to Jericho, and as Jesus and his disciple left town, a large crowd followed him. A blind beggar named Bartimaeus, son of Timaeus, was sitting beside the road. When Bartimaeus heard that Jesus of Nazareth was nearby, he began to shout, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. Be quiet, many of the people yelled at him. But he only shouted louder, son of David, have mercy on me. When Jesus heard him, he stopped and said, tell him to come here. The people following Jesus had no time for Bartimaeus. They were busy, they were going to Jerusalem. They didn't have any time for him. But you know, Jesus stopped the whole procession. He stopped everybody. They were all following him. He stopped the whole group so he could reach one blind person. And so when Bartimaeus saw that he was being called, he threw away his cloak. He wasn't wasting any time. He's getting up and going to Jesus. But the Bible tells us, if you want something from God, you have to ask. The guy comes up to Jesus, he's blind, he's been calling out, he, Jesus knows he's blind, and he says, what do you want me to do for you? Well, you know, the Bible says, ask and you shall receive. And blind Bartimaeus had to come to the place where he would ask. And when he asked Jesus to restore his sight, Jesus said, go for your faith has healed you. Instantly the man could see and he followed Jesus down the road. So when the crowd is telling you, don't press in, when the crowd is telling you, leave the Savior alone, Jesus is telling you, come on to me, all you that are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. There's another story about Jesus doing a miraculous healing. It's when Jesus heals a leper in Matthew chapter 8. It says, large crowds followed Jesus as he came down the mountains. Suddenly, a man with leprosy approached him and knelt before him. Lord, the man said, if you are willing, you can heal me and make me clean. Jesus reached out and touched him. I am willing, he said, be healed. And instantly the leprosy disappeared. I have a picture here of this man with his face covered in leprosy. You can look over and see what a, what a horrible disease that was. I would not want to have leprosy, that's for sure. And I'm sure this man didn't. It doesn't matter what problem you have, what disease you have, what sickness you have. Jesus is willing to touch you and make you whole. Sometimes we have to be bold. And these are two people that were bold, and they received from the Lord. Another bold person was a woman who came to Jesus for healing. In Luke chapter 8, it says, Now a woman having a flow of blood for 12 years, who had spent all her livelihood on physicians and could not be healed by any, came from behind and touched the border of his garment. And immediately her flow of blood stopped. What made this woman so bold? She was looking to Jesus and she said, if I can only touch the hem of his garment, I shall be made whole. She believed that she wouldn't have the flow of blood. She wouldn't have this problem if she touched the hem of Jesus. All we need to do is get in touch with Jesus and he can heal our diseases. Uh, uh, about uh, 12 or 13 years ago, maybe a little longer, I was in ICU, and uh, the Lord came to me that night, and he asked me, do you want to come home, or do you want to spend more time with your wife? And I said, well, I'm going to spend more time with my wife. And I woke up at that moment, the nurses were working on me, I was, uh, oxygen level was too low. And so I told my wife the next day, I said, oh, a great thing happened last night. She's in tears. I'm going, why is she in tears? I thought a great thing happened. And she said, I prayed for you all night long. I knew something was horribly wrong. 
And so because of the prayers that my wife sent to God, he sent me the healing that I needed to survive this day. And it wasn't just last Christmas I woke up with this COVID-19 and we didn't know we had it. We thought, both my wife and I thought we had stomach problems. And uh, by that Sunday, I was so despondent and so depressed. I mean, don't ask me how that happens. I, I, I'm not a medical expert. And my wife came to me with the anointing oil, and she anointed my head with oil, and she said, you're going to live. And she said, say it. And I wouldn't say it. She says, you're going to live. And I wouldn't say it. And she says, you're going to live. Well, I shook my hand like that. That morning around 2 or 3, I was all of a sudden in my backyard and I was in front of our lemon tree and it was a bright, beautiful day. But I lifted up my hand and it went into a brighter light. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. He is the light of the world. And I went into his light. And I started saying, I'm going to live, I'm going to live, I'm going to live. That same hand that shook yes to my life was saying, I'm going to live. And when I woke up in the morning, I was on the healing process. By the time we got tested, found out we had the COVID-19, we were already on the healing process. There was nothing they could do for us. God's in the healing business. That's twice I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for God intervening and healing today. Right now, I'd like you to hear just a short clip from my wife encouraging you what are you really seeking for from the Lord what is your goal yeah God said to you today what would you want to be what would you say oh wow I'd like to have a new house I'd like to have a new car I'd like to have more money I'd like to have a better job we are heirs of God and joint heirs with Christ Jesus but that's so how much do I want from God today? We need to think a little more about that. So whatever your problem is, break through the crowd. Don't let the crowd stop you. Break through to Jesus. He's there. He wants to heal your body. He wants to heal your mind and make you whole. Thanks for watching.